I had a, a gig in Dublin uh, a couple of months ago, okay, and as you know, Dublin is in Ireland, which is off, uh, yeah, it's off the coast of um, Great Britain. It's not part of Britain, but it's, it's very close. It's sort of like our Cuba, I suppose. It's like, um, <laughs> and, um, and so, okay, so Dublin... O2 Arena, 10,000 seats, sold out well in advance, flights booked, really looking forward to it. A few days before the gig, they start grounding the aeroplanes because there's a volcanic ash cloud over Britain, okay? And if you fly through it, apparently it'll make the plane fall out of the sky. And it was like, that was it, you couldn't fly in that. I mean, a volcano goes off in Iceland and we can't, but oh, what's the point of Iceland, really? And I, <laughs> What are they? Fi just fill in all the volcanoes with concrete, okay? Just, in fact, tarmac the whole country and make it a car park for real Europe because it's a waste of fucking space, okay? And so, I'm thinking, well, I've got to get there. I, I can't cancel. Uh, and um, there were sort of pop stars and people coming over from America, and they were cancelling their flight because they couldn't get in and out. I thought I can't. But, so I hired a helicopter to and from Dublin, it cost me £12,000, right? Just because I couldn't bear to let anyone down or take the ferry. That was... <laughs> um, they were still running, sure. Um, but that would have meant mixing with the general public, and I don't... <laughs> this is about as close as I ever... No. So, um... I don't know if you're affected by the volcanic ash cloud, um, but I had friends that were stuck all over the world and they missed weddings and funerals and they had to put themselves up in a hotel for extra days that they hadn't budgeted for and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. Well, what isn't an act of God? No, if you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? that he does everything. Isn't that right? Everything is an act of him. He's all-powerful, he's everywhere at once. He invented everything. There was nothing before him. He invented time, everything. He's across it all, okay? He doesn't miss a trick and he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off isn't like him going, fuck, I left the oven on. You know, it's... And who are these insurance companies that can decide what is and isn't an act of God? How do they know, okay? Have they got a hotline to God? They call him up, do they? Ring, 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 ring. Yellow. Uh, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, um, that volcanic ash cloud. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was an act of me, all right. Uh, so I shouldn't pay out. No, don't fucking pay him a penny, son. No. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? There's a lot of Steve Baxters. Um, Steve Baxter, 2 Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened at 2.15 on the 3rd of June this year. 2.15, 3rd of June. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa that day giving AIDS to babies. He does everything. He does everything. Mm. I don't make the rules. 